Welcome back. This is Teresa Adams with the Community College of Denver. Today we're going to talk about as applications of trigonomic functions and right triangles. In particular, we're going to be looking at angles of elevation or angles of depression. As you can see from the pictures, when we're talking about an angle of elevation, that means you're standing right here horizontally. This is some object you would like to uh, measure. And you're going to measure this angle here, which is from where you're standing uh, off the horizontal line. So this is the angle of elevation. So you're standing outside the Empire State Building, and you know the distance from you to the Empire State Building. You can measure the angle and determine how tall it is. Equivalently, if you're standing here on top of the Sears Tower, and here's your horizontal line. This time you know the height of the Sears Tower, and you're looking down to something on the ground. And you would like to figure out how far away it is. You would measure this angle of depression. That's from you horizontally. You're standing there on the top, horizontally, straight out, and the angle coming down is the angle of depression. So let's take a look at our first example. We're talking about a guy wire attached to the top of an antenna. Well, here's your antenna. It's a beautiful antenna. And from here to the ground is this guy wire. The guy wire is just a, a cable or wire that helps support um, your uh, antenna or uh, distribution poles, you'll see them on telephone poles, whenever there is a potential that the, the object may fall over, that you put that on there. So here's your guy wire. And the guy wire is 100 feet tall and, or excuse me, 100 feet long, and they tell us that from the guy wire to the ground is a 62 degree angle. What we want to know is how tall the antenna is. So here is H. We're going to call this H because we want the height of the antenna. We have the opposite side of 62. We have the hypotenuse of our little triangle that we make. So we make the assumption this does make a 90 degree angle there. So what we're going to be using is we're going to be using the sine. So we're going to use the sine of 62 degrees is equal to our H was what we want to find over 100. So we put the sine of 62 in our calculator, make sure we're in degrees, multiply by 100, and our answer to the nearest foot is 88 feet. The next one we're going to be looking at is a hot air balloon. It's between two spotters who are 1.2 miles apart. One spotter reports that their angle of elevation to the balloon is 76 and the other one is 68. We would like to know the altitude of the balloon to the nearest tenth of a mile. So I'm going to draw a picture here. Here's the first person, not drawn to scale. Here's my second person, not drawn to scale. We know that this entire distance here from person to person is 1.2 miles. So I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to let from, here's my balloon right there, from this guy to this place that is perpendicular, to my balloon. I'm going to call this x. And then I'm, that means that this distance from this guy to that place that makes the balloon uh, perpendicular to the horizon is 1.2 minus x. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set this up. So I am looking for, and again, I'm going to call this h for height. I'm looking for this height of this balloon. So for me to find the height of this balloon, I'm going to use the fact that I have the angles. This one was 76, and this one was 68. And I kind of have the adjacent side. That's the x, or the 1.2 minus x. And I want the opposite side, which is h. So that means I'm going to be using the tangent. So the tangent of 76 degrees is equal to x over uh, excuse me, not x, let me erase that. So the tangent of 76 degrees is my opposite h over my adjacent, which is x. Similarly, the tangent of 68 degrees is going to be my h over the 1.2 minus x. If I take this first one and solve for h, I've got x the tangent of 76 degrees is equal to h. Do the same thing over here. 
I get 1.2 tangent 68 degrees minus x tangent 68 degrees equals h. Because these are the same h's, I can set these things equal to each other. So I have x the tangent of 76 degrees equals 1.2 the tangent of 68 degrees minus x the tangent of 68 degrees. I'm going to add the tangent of 68 to both sides and factor out an x and so I'm going to end up with x equals 1.2 the tangent of 68 degrees over the tangent of 76 degrees plus the tangent of 68 degrees. And this is approximately equal to, and I'll give you it to about four decimal places, 0 0.4579. And that's a 4 right there. My 4s always look like 9s. That gives me x, but I want h. What I want is that height. Now remember, let me tell you where eight x was again. This is x. That isn't what I want. I want h. I want this. So to find h, I'm going to come back to here now that I know what x is. And I'm going to plug that in and I can find out what x is. Or excuse me, h, because that's what I want. So h is going to be equal to the 0 0.4579 tangent of 76 degrees which to the nearest tenth of a mile is 1.8 miles. So I'm going to let you guys do the last one. However, I will give you the answer, and we will go over these in class, and enjoy.